What's good? What's good? This is Stiko. This is Stiko the podcast. Mira, thank you. I just want to say thank you right now if you've been subscribing to the channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's interact with me, gente. Come on now, you know what it is. Share this video. It don't it don't cost you nothing. A lot of people always say, you know, you know, you don't you, you gotta buy something to support. Nah, man, look, by sharing this video, you're doing me a favor because now people get to see these videos and guess what? We get the word around, right? That's all that matters at the end of the day. Also, hit the notification bell with, so you can at least get notified when I drop something, man. You gotta get notified. You know, sometimes, you know, when I'm looking through interviews, you know, I try to peep game, you know. And on this specific interview that I'm looking at, I, I'm going to drop the, uh, the link on my description so y'all can check it out. But we're going to talk about Lisa and look, I'm telling you right now, man, look, don't judge somebody because we say, oh, she's a adult entertainer. Oh, man, look, stop. Chill out. Sit in the back seat, Enjoy the ride. It is what it is, man. But she's on this interview, right? S.O.S. And yo, I'm kind of liking that format, that podcast, and what they talk about. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm digging the vibe. And um, one thing about this interview that I must admit, they talk about finances. The most important thing in society these days. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Ah, new shirt, guys. I'm sorry, but look, <clears throat> she. Um, they talk about finances, right? And then. When they speak about these finances, they, they're giving you the game. They also talk about the industry, the door industry. And, um, yo, it's a great interview. I will say that. She definitely has a lot of charisma to her. And I, and, and I keep saying this, and I, I can't stress this enough. When you, when you see these people in the door industry, right? One of the things that I come across is that once you get to see them for a certain time, then it's like the next new hot thing comes around. So what happens to them? Like, like where do they go? Are they uh, pursuing different kind of uh, adventures or are they basically disappeared and don't want to be around? So in this specific interview, she breaks it down. She explains the how she started in the game. She started extremely young, yo. Like, oh. Maybe because I got a daughter. I don't know. It just crossed my mind. I'm like, wow, she was so young when she started. But not in the adult industry. I'm talking about just in the in the, in the business of that, you know. Long story short, one of the things is that got my attention was the fact that she said, if y'all don't know this, she actually played at Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin, you know, she I think that Sarah, you, you know, I know who I'm talking about. She wore the glasses. She, she was trying to run for president with McCain and she didn't win, but she played her as an adult actress, right? One of the things is that she said is that she had to invest her own money to get them suits that she was wearing and how she felt like she already knew that this was going to be a big thing. And she had to, you know, purchase her own merchandise because she knew other companies could, you know, front the money and do that. But she said she knew the idea. She had a vision of the direction she wanted to go with and how she wanted to basically, you know, build that character. Now, y'all probably know who she is. She was on the Eminem video. Lisa Ann, check out, Google her. I mean, look, what you do when you Google her and you do afterwards, I don't want to know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to know. But when you get a chance, check out this interview. Now, as let's go back. She invests money in herself. See, that right there should be a key word for anybody. Investing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, this video is for you. The reason why I said that, how many times have you heard an artist complain about throwing a little money to a DJ to play that record that you just pushed out? Or better yet, how, how many people have said, you know what, I don't want to spend that money if I want to start a business with making shirts? Even better, setting up this, it, it, all, it has to start with money. Am I saying to you, go spend thousands and thousands of dollars if you don't got it? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying to you is that if you really believe in yourself, you will make 
that room, a little bit of room of money to make things move. Because listening to her and how much money she invested, she, look, this is the crazy thing about it. She's in the interview saying she will buy whatever she was wearing, you know, and she will sell it to whoever wanted it as a, like a like a valuable item and people will purchase it so it made me start thinking like yo look i'm not look i'm not gonna tell you my ideas but it made me think and i was like i never really thought about that of course you know she's in a different level and she got a different kind of audience but the message is there the message is basically you invest in yourself find ways to make money out of your investment i'm telling you y'all gotta understand like this woman right here is crazy since <laughs> she's a milf and she ain't got no kids what is going on <laughs> but yo it's just the the simple fact of somebody taking something and creating something out of it she goes into the details of uh saving money how some females get in the game, they basically lose it all. And, um, it, it, okay, so they got this one part where they, they, they have the top 10 adult industry females in the game. And, um, are they, are the money, you know, recognition or whatever. And, um, and she went into a few of them, but I guess what I liked about the way she presented everything she was very open about it. You'd be surprised like when um, some, some celebrities, cause she's a celebrity at this point. Some celebrities get to that status of being at a certain level and they don't want to speak about certain things. And because they don't want to speak about those certain things, you kind of like, oh, well, I really know what she is. But I will say this, guys, when y'all get a chance, even females, when y'all get a chance, listen to this interview. This interview would definitely, definitely, definitely make you think because it made me think about certain things. I was like, wow, I never thought about doing that, even as an artist, because sometimes, look, just being real with y'all, sometimes we expect as artists is that once we make that one record, it's like, that's it, we good, and it's gonna take off and all this, but we don't think about what's next. For example, she will purchase these outfits to play the Sarah Palin look, Palin, whatever, I don't know how to say it last night, that's bad, I'm gonna have to check that out, but she will get these, you know, suits or whatever, costumes, whatever you wanna call it, right? She will wear them. I don't know if she sold these, but she would wear certain costumes, outfits, or whatever, and she would sell them. So basically, she would put money in her and what she believes in and the look that she was going for. After that, she would sell it and make money. So basically, let's say it cost her a hundred dollars, she sell it for a thousand. She and she didn't came up. She didn't came up. But it's just little things like that. Am I saying that get involved in adult industry? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying to y'all, listen to the advice that she's giving y'all because you can learn a lot from finances. And trust me when I tell y'all, y'all gotta tighten up on your finances because I've been tightening up on my finances. Because I'm like, man, look, what's about to happen? Now, you know what, we saved that for another day. <laughs> Check out the interview. The link will be in my description. When you get a chance, subscribe to this channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Drop a comment in the comment section. Share this video to all y'all people. If y'all get a chance, tag Lisa Ann in it. Trust me, this is a good interview. Y'all have to check it out. Also, hit the notification bell to get notified when I drop something. Please don't forget to visit the website. It's r2drec.com. I got plenty of merchandise there. I also got my music up there. Trust me, let's interact with each other. Got all my social media platforms out there. You want to follow me, y'all know what it is. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith and never give up. All right, one.